What is up, everybody? Maximilian here, and welcome to the pre-Yo! Video Game Show featuring a road trip to E3. Well, not as much to E3. We're pretty damn close to this thing now. I'm joined here by the pilot of the vehicle, Matt. Say hi. Hi, everybody. I'm Matthew Simmons. So we just got our registration finished at E3. We're in a vehicle in traffic in Los Angeles, but we were just looking at all the stuff around and realizing that how insane this E3 is going to be like how insane this E3 is going to be. Uh, what is the biggest game you're looking forward to and or system, Matt? Uh, I don't really have a favorite game per se right now. There's a, there's a lot of games I want to play and want to see, but there's not like one that's like overriding everything else. That's kind of my biggest... That's bullshit. Uh, okay, you tell me. What is my biggest game I want to see? Well, the biggest game you want to see is Revengeance. Revengeance is up there. I do want to see Revengeance because you know what? It'll be the first good Metal Gear Solid game since Metal Gear Solid. In, in all seriousness, though, I think I really, really, really want to play Resident Evil 6. Uh, I want to see how that game feels. I think that's the most important part. Uh, and I want to play Lost Planet 3, but at the same time I don't because ever since I saw what they're recently doing with the game, they're turning it into Dead Space. And I'm, I'm like, some people like that. I, I kind of like the older Lost Planet, so I'm kind of bummed out about it. What do you think, Matt? Uh, I think Lost Planet 3 is probably going to end up like Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. Selling 2 million copies? <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I want that game to be good, but at the same time, I'm just a, a little worried because it's made by somewhat of a, a developer who doesn't have a, does not have a good track record. But um, I don't know. The stuff that they're showing so far does look good, even though it does look like Dead Space. Uh, aside from that, man, what else is there? Uh, I want to get my hands on Tekken Tag 2. I want to see if Capcom is going to put any new fighting games out. I really hope they do. Uh, and actually happening right now, there is an E3 uh, pre-press conference for Nintendo going on. And I think they're going to be releasing the specs of the Wii U. Uh, so what do you think, Simmons? Do you think they're actually going to uh, provide a graphical powerhouse capable of taking on at least the current generation of hardware? Wii U will be better than current generation. Wii U will not be be up to par with the new Microsoft Sony systems when they do come out, but it will be better, but that will remain to be seen if any developers take advantage of that. Do you think that they're going to say anything about the online right now? I think they are talking about online right now. Oh shit, we gotta get home. Uh, that's the thing that's like the biggest deal breaker for me is that Nintendo systems don't have good online. A lot of the time, or actually, for the history of all time, they have never had good online and then it's never been well thought through. If they can get something like Xbox Live running on uh, a new, the new Nintendo system, it could be great. It could be like excellent. It could be freaking awesome. Uh, it can actually make the Nintendo system the multiplayer forefront if it runs the first person shooters the best out of them all. So I don't know. Uh, I really hope they reveal something about that. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to Revengeance. I want to play Devil May Cry once again, see how it feels. Uh, there's a lot of stuff at Capcom I want to try out. I hope they have something for Street Fighter Cross Tekken to rebalance the game, like a new version of the game, but I, I doubt it. I think they're just going to be concentrating on the Vita version. Uh, I'd love to see some new fighting game like Darkstalkers 4, but I doubt it. Yeah, you are getting a new game. It's called Injustice, Gods Among Us. That's that's actually somewhat true. I I did not play any Mortal Kombat. I did not play NK versus DC, but I'm somewhat down for a all DC fighting game. Uh, and as long as it's competent, I'm really curious if they're just going to rip Mortal Kombat 9 combat system, you know, one button block and stuff like that. I I I'm curious if that's how they're going to do it. I'd like to see them take a new approach. I'd like to think that Nether Realms has got, you know, um, the, the experience to make a whole new engine, like a fighting game engine out of it, but if they want it to be feel like Mortal Kombat, then it's going to feel like Mortal Kombat. Uh, if it has fatalities, then we know it's Mortal Kombat. Like, it, it has, you know, brutalities, whatever the hell they choose to call them. Uh, I don't know, man, anything else you're really excited for? Uh, I'm excited for, for Nino Kuni, though it's already out in Japan, so it's kind of like one of those games I'm going to go there to see how the English build is shaping up. I'm um, excited for Castlevania Mirror of Fate, which is a, a new side-scrolling Castlevania game for the 3DS. Um, I'm excited for, I'm hoping there's some good surprises out of Nintendo because they're always keeping things close to their, sh their chest. Um, I don't know what from Microsoft I'm really excited about. Oh, Crimson Dragon I'm really excited for. Oh my god, yeah. Crimson Dragon is Panzer Dragoon uh, sequel, prequel, whatever the hell. It's the, it's the sequel by heart. Spiritual sequel, that's a good way of saying it. Um, I don't know, besides that, Sega is like out of business right now, but they're still going to be at E3. 
Uh, we're gonna go there. I'm gonna play the holy balls, the holy alien balls out of Aliens, and then I'm gonna play the holy racing balls out of the new Sega Sonic All Stars Racer because it's got Panzer Dragoon stuff in it. Yeah, man, Sonic and Sega All Star Racing looks like a total homage to like Sega games of yore. Uh, what do you think about that one? I'm actually really excited for it because they put Vice from Skies of Arcadia in it, which is what should have been in the first game. Uh, I like the idea of a pants drag doing level. I'm going to bug them non-stop at E3 about putting Sega Tassanshiro as a playable character because he's made cameos in other games recently, and if he can make cameos in, in shitty NIS America games, he can make a cameo in Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed. Yeah, man. I Sega Tassanshiro is the, the leading song of all of our Sega Saturn Saturdays videos. He That would be freaking awesome if he was in the game. So there's, there's a lot of stuff I'm sure we're missing, but there's going to be a lot of stuff for us to show. I'm going to get a ton of gameplay footage. I'm going to be putting up trailers actively on the channel showing all of the games that I'm potentially interested in playing or games that you might be seeing on the channel. Things like playthroughs of stuff like Nino Kuni, which will be coming when it eventually comes out because everything's coming out in 2013 now. But the, um, but the thing is, I'm going to put up every trailer for a game that I'm potentially interested in, so you're going to see a lot of stuff on the page this week all related to E3, as well as a bunch of hands-on impressions and gameplay impressions from us at E3. So we're going to be coming back with a bunch of footage. Can't wait. Going to get there, get as much as we can, and put it up daily. So uh, until then, thank you guys very much for tuning into our little pre-E3 jumpy show in the back of a car. It's been fun, and we're going to get back home and get ready for the days to come. This has been Max. And I'm Matt. And we'll see you next time on Yo! Video Games E3 Edition!